All right, she's all in epoxy primer. This is epoxy primer. So before you comment on those weird looking dry spots, that's where the, um, what do you call it? Where we've started to do bigger dents Bondo, but we wanted to get it. So those are knocked down, but they're not ready for paint tomorrow. No, tomorrow Sunday. Monday, we will paint after we prep the rest of the surface, probably knock all of this down with 400 to get rid of any texture, any any of the uh, orange peeling. And also where we've done Bondo, we're gonna finish those dents up. We're not gonna take it to like show quality, no dent. It's just, it's not that car. It's a 1971 Super Beetle and a teenager's gonna drive it for the next, unless it gets wrecked, decade plus, cause multiple teenagers are gonna drive it. So we decided not to fix all the dents. We stopped doing the dents we were doing. Those were the big ones. Fix those, but little dents, door dings, those aren't getting fixed for now. But while that is drying, it's dry enough, but we don't have time light wise and whatnot. We're going to, these are all primered. They're gonna go black, like gloss black, like the interior. So. VW emblems, the uh, interior um, grill piece, as well as the door here for the glove box. That's actually gonna go body color. But our hardware, our trim bezels around the lights, the marker lamp trim, and then the other, um, what do you call it? The light bulbs. Light bulb are going black. So a little black trim on the outside because the bugs go on a metallic, medium metallic gray. So these are all going black with the exception of the grills that go around the Speedo and the glove box that's going to go body color. So that's what we're doing right now. All right, we got all the primer from yesterday or day before. Scuffed down with 320. Those dry spots that showed up, we're going to go over. Those are the Bondo spots. Some of those had to be knocked down a little more. We're gonna shoot them again with the primer. And then we will be ready for paint. What do you think, Ram? Is it gonna be gray today? Yeah. We'll Finally. Test all. Finally, he says. So this has sparkles in it. And you see the stuff on the end here? You can see that's almost all just the metallic sparkle. Yeah. And so you've got to get it all stirred up or else you'll have patchy areas where, because metallics are kind of tricky to paint with and not have stripes and, you know, changes of the way the light plays on it, especially if you don't get all those sparkles mixed up. And then this, even though it's the same batch, we still got some left in here. And you can see how silver sparkly this is. Yeah. Now watch this. This has a lot of it sparkles down in the bottom like that. You can yeah. see it's almost all, almost looks like aluminum. So we gotta mix this up. Then we're gonna take this and this and pour it back and forth, back and forth. So it kind of blends the two together. So there isn't a concentration of the metallic in either of it. Yeah. Optimally, we would have a paint shaker. In fact, it might be worth taking it to the hardware store, seeing if we can get them to shake it. So that's what I wanted you to see. That all of that chunky stuff I have to get to uh, blend. We've wiped it all down. It's about ready to be tack ragged. Paint's being mixed. We are about ready to shoot this whole car in medium gray metallic. 
it is gonna turn out so much better than I think anyone was planning. Even though we didn't do it in a booth, we didn't do it with high dollar equipment, just elbow grease. We didn't even do it on the driveway, we did it in the rocks. color gray no we did not fix all the dents the hood and trunk are hung loosely because we're gonna get a storm here in the next 24 hours and we want to keep her dry while the uh, all the volatiles get out of the paint but she's one color and she looks good pretty happy with how she turned out everybody is rim stoked anyway medium gray metallic Boom, all done. Well, she fits. Had to get her inside for the storm that's coming. Don't want the fresh paint sitting out in the rain and possibly snow. There's gonna be like a 20 or 30 degree drop, so. Long day. She looks great. But for now, I would have to say that is a wrap. Or as the Hoonigans would say, Till next time, like, subscribe, share, see ya.